everybody, welcome back to my page, Hot Mess Express Tutorials. If this is your first time here, then we're just figuring it out one video at a time. Today we did some first impressions using some new products. Some of them went great, and some of them were a hot mess. Follow along with me in 3, 2, 1. Hashtag fresh face. Today we're going to be doing a lot of different things. I'm going to be going over a lot of different products. I have a lot of new things. It's a new year. Let's try new things. Also, I went back to tutorials with robes. You should feel like a diva wearing a robe when you put your makeup on. And we have this backdrop back here again. One of my goals this year when filming was to stop saying so, so much when filming because it is ridiculously very hard to edit it out. So that is one of the things that I'm working on. <laughs> Now let's do what you came here for, the makeup portion of this video. In my last video, I talked about the Anastasia, Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette. I know. This was my favorite palette of 2018, and I realized I never did a tutorial with it. That's the first thing that we're going to do today in our new slash this is now my favorite things video. We're figuring it out as we film. We're going to start by using the color Rustic and putting it in the crease of our eye. Circular motions, just spinning it into oblivion. Next we're going to use the color Dusty Rose and put that on the lid of our eye. Back and blend these together. What look should I do? Soft glam, like the palette, or a little bit more rock star? You guys will know because you've seen the beginning of this video. I have to go more rock star, obviously. And we're gonna go in with Mulberry. Then bring it all the way over till about three fourths. Then to make it more dramatic, we're gonna go in with Cypress Umber. I don't know exactly what that means. What it, what is an umber? Comment down below. I'm going to take a clean brush and blend this out. If the brush is not clean, then you're just going to be adding more pigment and more color on and it does not blend as easily. Even if it takes five minutes, you do what you can for no harsh lines. To make this look a little bit less dark and more glamorous, we're going to go in with sultry. I'm going to use my setting spray to wet my brush so that the pigment is even more intense. Then we're going to go back over the middle of this with mulberry again just to blend it out slightly. I'm going to use my tattoo liner and my Urban Decay eyeliner to make a wing. This is in Fireball. And like I said before, I usually just use the black eyeliner as a base since the eyelashes are going to go over top of that. And then put the color on top. I'm going to put on my crepe lashes and then I'm going to put on my Urban Decay eyeliner in Fireball. I put on my lashes. And as I was putting them on, I realized that I didn't put on mascara yet, to which then I realized that I didn't have any mascara with me. <laughs> I MacGyvered it and I used my eyeliner and I tried to go over it with the eyeliner. I don't know if it did any good. It's a hot mess over here. I'm going to use this VDL Luma Layer Primer. And I got this in my Ipsy bag. This is not sponsored by Ipsy. Let's use this primer. You guys didn't see, there wasn't a uh, frame, but I went to go squeeze this out and it literally rainbow arched out of the tube and like onto my pand, which looks lovely. I'm gonna really spray this on my face. Okay, we're gonna really cover it. Okay, there's not even enough in there now. I like squeezed it all out, okay. This is definitely a one-time use. Uh, sample. I will say my face does look illuminated. I just bought the somewhat not so new, not like it just came out, but newer Jouer High Coverage uh, Essential Cream Foundation. I think that the box for it is super classy, nice gold and reflective. And this is the bottom. 
bottle that it comes in and I am in the color linen. All right, it came out. <laughs> and I guess I'll put it on my beauty blender. And I also, I ordered this online. Um, and the cool thing about, oh, this might be a little bit darker than my actual color. But the cool thing about ordering it online is that they have pictures of women wearing the color, like every shade. So that helps you find it a little bit easier. But we're gonna pretend that it's summer and not snowing outside. Maybe if I put some powder on and stuff. I can attest that this is very full coverage. Like I said, this is a first impression. I guess I'll be returning that and getting a lighter shade, but this is what we're working with right now. But this is no uh, knock to the quality of this product. It is very full coverage. I put a lot on the Beauty Blender and I really didn't need to, honestly. Let's see if we can use some highlighting and contouring techniques and figure out how to lighten this up. Uh, when I wore the foundation and the lipsticks, it also sent me three uh, liquid concealers. Wheat, creme brulee, dolce de leche, and amber. I feel like right now my face is telling me dolce de leche. I'm really creme brulee, but honestly I might be wheat. <laughs> and I took off creme brulee because I feel like that's the real color. Oh my gosh, yeah, this is so dark too. <gasps> oh, guess I have a date for the Uniform Lips Factory later. in with another thing that I got from Ipsy. It is a eyeliner pencil by a brand that I cannot say. It has the word llama in it. Um, I'll write it down in the description below and then you can order from them. We'll see if we like this one. This one cannot squirt out of the bottle so that's already a head start. And the color for this eyeliner pencil is Honor. Spelled the British way. I'm going to do my eyebrows next. Okay, and then to lighten this look up a little bit, I'm going to put Fairy in the inner corner of my eye, as well as the brow bone. See? Much lighter. Less gothic. Now we're going to move on to some contouring and face making. I'm going to go in with the Mary Kay Chrome Effusion Blush. I'm going to be actually contouring my face, and I'm going to go in with the color Cocoa. From my ear down. Then I'm gonna go in with latte. This is going to bronze me. And then I'm gonna go in with desert rose to make my cheeks nice and rosy. Also using a Mary Kay brush to distribute this brush. This blush. The cool thing about this cool brush is that you can, it has a finger place for you that you can just push your finger down and then it becomes a fan brush when you dip it into your highlighter. And the highlighter that I chose was glazed. I will say for me this highlight is not as blinding as I would like it to be, but it's finally time to go over lips. I got this Jouer Get Charmed Best of Lip Gift Set because, as you may know, I love lipstick. This is your first video, now you know. So you ask, what's in the box? These are all the lips, there are seven of them. It comes with two lip toppers, two lip glosses, and three lip creams, so I'm not really sure the exact difference. Um, I was going to do trying them all out in this video, but I might do that in another video, but I think I'm going to go with this lip topper, um, and the color is called Enchanted. Also, if you've been with me for a long time, you know that I also hate lip gloss, but I'm trying to, I'm trying to do it more often. Ooh, I think it's supposed to go over top of a lip cream. Maybe I did this the wrong way. I'm going to take out Fortune. topper on top. I think my foundation has kind of made it a little bit lighter than what it possibly should be. I don't know if I really like this for this look. I blotted that out and now it makes a nice mauve color and I think I like it a little bit better. I'm going to put some 
setting spray on. This is the final look. If you like it, then you can click the thumbs up button down below. Comment down below if you would like to see a full video using all of the colors in the Jouer gift set. Maybe I won't wear a foundation so it won't get all mixed up. Also, make sure that you share this video with a friend, please. Thank you. And if you're not, subscribe. Then you can see more videos. <laughs> also, you can follow me on social media. That's Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram. And my Hot Mess Express tip of the day is ordering online can be scary, but it's okay. Just make sure that you check the return policy. Okay, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.